Multilinear Algebra, Wikipedia Article Audio In mathematics, multilinear algebra extends the methods of linear algebra. Just as linear algebra is built on the concept of a vector and develops the theory of vector spaces, multilinear algebra builds on the concepts of p-vectors and multi-vectors with Grassmann algebra. Origin Use in algebraic topology Conclusion on the abstract approach Topics in multilinear algebra Applications In a vector space of dimension n, one usually considers only the vectors. According to Hermann Grassmann and others, this presumption misses the complexity of considering the structures of pairs, triples, and general multi-vectors. Since there are several combinatorial possibilities, the space of multi-vectors turns out to have two n dimensions. The abstract formulation of the determinant is the most immediate application. Multilinear algebra also has applications in mechanical study of material response to stress and strain with various moduli of elasticity. This practical reference led to the use of the word tensor to describe the elements of the multilinear space. The extra structure in a multilinear space has led it to play an important role in various studies in higher mathematics. Though Grassmann started the subject in 1844 with his Ostdienungslehre, and republished in 1862, his work was slow to find acceptance as ordinary linear algebra provided sufficient challenges to comprehension. The topic of multilinear algebra is applied in some studies of multivariate calculus and manifolds where the Jacobian matrix comes into play. The infinitesimal differentials of single variable calculus become differential forms in multivariate calculus, and their manipulation is done with exterior algebra. After Grassmann, developments in multilinear algebra were made in 1872 by Victor Schlegel when he published the first part of his System der Rumlehr, and by Elwin Bruno Christoffel. A major advance in multilinear algebra came in the work of Gregorio Ricci Curbastro and Tullio Levi Civita. It was the absolute differential calculus form of multilinear algebra that Marcel Grossman and Michel Besso introduced to Albert Einstein. The publication in 1915 by Einstein of a general relativity explanation for the precession of the perihelion of Mercury, established multilinear algebra and tensors as physically important mathematics. Around the middle of the 20th century the study of tensors was reformulated more abstractly. The Bourbaki group's treatise Multilinear Algebra was especially influential in fact the term multilinear algebra was probably coined there. One reason at the time was a new area of application, homological algebra. The development of algebraic topology during the 1940s gave additional incentive for the development of a purely algebraic treatment of the tensor product. The computation of the homology groups of the product of two spaces involves the tensor product, but only in the simplest cases, such as a torus, is it directly calculated in that fashion. The topological phenomena were subtle enough to need better foundational concepts, technically speaking, the tor functors had to be defined. The material to organize was quite extensive, including also ideas going back to Hermann Grassmann, the ideas from the theory of differential forms that had led to Durham cohomology as well as more elementary ideas such as the wedge product that generalizes the cross product. The resulting rather severe write-up of the topic entirely rejected one approach in vector calculus. They instead applied a novel approach using category theory, with the Lie group approach viewed as a separate matter. Since this leads to a much cleaner treatment, 
there was probably no going back in purely mathematical terms. Indeed, what was done is almost precisely to explain that tensor spaces are the constructions required to reduce multilinear problems to linear problems. This purely algebraic attack conveys no geometric intuition. Its benefit is that by re-expressing problems in terms of multilinear algebra, there is a clear and well-defined best solution, the constraints the solution exerts are exactly those you need in practice. In general there is no need to invoke any ad hoc construction, geometric idea, or recourse to coordinate systems. In the category theoretic jargon, everything is entirely natural. In principle the abstract approach can recover everything done via the traditional approach. In practice this may not seem so simple. On the other hand, the notion of natural is consistent with the general covariance principle of general relativity. The latter deals with tensor fields, but covariance asserts that the language of tensors is essential to the proper formulation of general relativity. Some decades later the rather abstract view coming from category theory was tied up with the approach that had been developed in the 1930s by Hermann Weyl. In a way this took the theory full circle, connecting once more the content of old and new viewpoints. The subject matter of multilinear algebra has evolved less than the presentation down the years. Here are further pages centrally relevant to it. There is also a glossary of tensor theory. Some of the ways in which multilinear algebra concepts are applied. Bilinear operator, component free treatment of tensors, Kramer's rule, dual space, Einstein notation, exterior algebra, exterior derivative, inner product, Kronecker delta, Levi Civita symbol metric tensor, mixed tensor, multilinear map, multilinear form, symmetric algebra, symmetric power, symmetric tensor, tensor, tensor algebra, free algebra, tensor contraction. Classical treatment of tensors, dyadic tensor, Brockett notation, geometric algebra, Clifford algebra, pseudoscalar, pseudo-vector, spinor, outer product, hypercomplex number, multilinear subspace learning. <laughs>